Hello guys, uh, now we're gonna talk about diesel prices. We're going right now to get our receipt and I'll show you guys. I'm in New York State. Uh, the color I guess it's 570 something. Uh, we'll discuss what we should expect in the future about these gas prices, guys. I don't even, we'll see. Can I get the filler seats for truck 241, please? One copy. Thank you. Okay, guys. This is actually the price. 579 for a gallon. Yeah, Sandra, 570 a gallon for diesel here in Southern California. Of course, that's a necessary evil for most truckers. And up until tonight, it did not seem that anything was really being done to help them. We keep the world going and, you know, we, we get treated. We should be on first on the list to get the, the brakes on the gas. Delante Harris is a trucker who's just tired of skyrocketing diesel prices. As the conflict in Russia with, and Ukraine continues, you know, the oil markets will likely respond by continuing to increase the price of crude oil. So we just have to prepare for, for the worst. Just 3% of America's oil comes from Russia, but half of what's called heavy sour crude stays here in California for refining. That's because there is no pipeline across the Rockies from the Permian oil fields of Texas. And shipping refined gasoline from Texas through the Panama Canal is just too expensive. So we rely on foreign oil, and that's over $113 a barrel now. It affects everybody else's livelihood, though. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of drivers complaining about how the loads that they're taking is not even paying for the gas. All of us are seeing shock at the pumps, whether it's gasoline or diesel. But truckers and their 100 gallon tanks who supply us with 80% of the goods we use each day, are struggling to make ends meet. It makes me get smarter and more strategic in my routes and, you know, loads that I used to do further, I just don't do. I do shorter loads and uh, more of them. There are calls, though, to increase U.S. oil production and suspend gas taxes, both of which might help. But it's unlikely to happen very quickly, so wallets will continue to be drained for our near future. There's more demand, there's a reduction in total supply, so all of this is just, you know, basically contributing to these high prices in, in gas and, and diesel. But there is talk tonight that a deal could be reached in the next two or three days with Iran to increase its oil production. The experts say that that's something that could push the prices down dramatically. It's a lesson in global economics taught at the local gas pump. You can see it on the sign at this station in Oakland, California, $5.69 a gallon. Prices are higher in California thanks to state regulations and taxes. But everyone is paying more, about 50% more than last year, and prices will likely only go up. It'll alter my driving pattern if it keeps going up especially. Demand is high and supply tight coming out of the pandemic. The war in Ukraine is only making it worse. It's all because of the way oil is priced. There's a global price and disruptions or interruptions or uh, price spikes anywhere lead to price spikes in the United States. So we're much more connected, even though we only import a tiny amount of Russian oil. What's driving prices now? A pullback of supply from Russia, the world's second largest exporter of oil. Adding to that, an old enemy of any market, fear and uncertainty. Buyers of Russian oil, uh, companies, traders, shippers, are, have become afraid to touch it because of the growing risk of uh, sanctions. Now the U.S. is banning imports of Russian oil. This is a step that we're taking to inflict further pain on Putin. But the U.S. only imports a small amount, mostly something called mazout, a kind of heavier fuel oil that goes into refineries and comes out as diesel and gasoline. 
the implications for U.S. consumers in terms of prices at the pump is pretty minimal compared to the huge increase in prices that we've already seen. Mark Finley is at Rice University and was an economist at BP and an energy security specialist at the CIA. It could you know, provide a opening gambit in a broader effort to try to squeeze Russia. Oil is half of all of Russia's exports. It's 40 percent of the government's revenues. You may think the U.S. can just drill more, pump more, rely even less on oil from other lands. It already produces most of what it uses. But it's not that simple. The oil and gas industry has millions of acres leased. They have 9,000 permits to drill now. They are not using them for production now. That's their decision. A decision revolving around booms and busts and the low oil prices of years past. It's all enough to worry energy company executives. You want to be really sure that the risk of another price collapse has gone away before you start to invest a lot more. It's likely other nations, including much of Europe, won't be so quick to ban their use of Russian energy. There are specific countries in Europe that depend on Russia for up to 80% of their supplies. It's possible U.S. gas prices could spiral toward $5 a gallon for everyone. There's about a three-week lag between these prices and what oil is going for. Hey guys, uh, about the gas prices, we're here in New York. And how I say, how you sell, I was got fuel of 5.79 a cent per gallon. Uh, it's actually crazy. And now the rates, which I'm looking right now to get the next load from New York, new for upstate New York, not far away from uh, New York City. It's two dollars, guys. I'll show you some loads. They pay three thousand bucks from here to go to the California, guys. And uh, if you're counting 6.5 uh, miles per gallon of a truck with divided by five, it's $2,000 just the fuel. And it's a weak job. And you remain with 600 bucks, but not because you pay truck insurance, trailer insurance, and driver, and blah, blah, blah. And you go negative. Uh, I'm not sure how our president will deal with that because it's affecting business, it's affecting everybody. It's affecting people who bought trucks for $250,000 and uh, they're not going to make it. They're going to make it a month, two, not three, because they're not going to hold the payments. It's it's too high, guys. Uh, I was like really sick about what's going on, but when, I don't know what we can do, honestly. Uh, the one thing what uh, I, I try to do, use the fuel cars, guys. Use the fuel cars. It's, you'll get some discounts if you have a older truck just fill up with all these indian gas stations i think that is the best solution because everybody knows uh, they got gas from the same uh from from the same provider let's say like that you know ta petro loves all are the the same providers and it's kind of hard honestly to see if, uh, what would be next what to expect next uh Let's make it. Let's make it. About a mile per uh, per gallon. <laughs> we'll try that. Don't keep the trucks on idling, guys, anymore. That will cost you a lot of money. Like, imagine you're gonna stay for a night for idling for eight hours, ten hours, ten hours. Let's say, right? That is like ten gallons. That is fifty bucks. Maybe consider go to the hotel, motel, and we'll make it. <laughs> it'll cost you almost the same money, but much more comfortable. Um, what, the one more thing don't take cheap loads guys if you take cheap loads the brokers will see because today I, I, I think I'm gonna stay in this rest area because I'm not gonna pull the load for two dollars hell no uh, but of course today tomorrow we'll see how that works and uh, I don't know guys to be a truck driver now it's kind of almost the worst case scenario where the gas is affecting you it's not like couple of months ago when the gas is like three dollars and you and you drive crazy per mile you know like four dollars five dollars whatever but now the rates is like two two dollars and uh, it's twice as expensive um, let's see what we'll see the last thing guys if uh, Biden say it's because of the war in the Ukraine don't believe that well, we import just three percent guys of the diesel fuel from from the from the russians 
Um, if you if you know more about politics, you'll see where the Biden uh, cut off the guys from the federal land, not be able to pump more oil and stuff because he wanna go green, guys. And he said, the more expensive the gas will be, the most chances for our bill to get through for green America. Keep going, Brandon. Uh, subscribe, guys. Help me out. I'll help you out.